Okay, okay, it is over, it is done. I just finished the final episode of Star Wars The Acolyte. There will be spoilers here. I'm just gonna get out everything that I feel. We're gonna see how we feel about the whole series. So let's get into it. First, let's just start here with this episode, the final episode, episode eight. Um, what do I think about this episode in particular? There's a lot to unpack here. They uh, did a lot of things here with the twins and Saul and Quarmir, I believe his name is. We got everything wrapped up into a package to try to understand and try to make the fans happy. They tried to go through with the story and well, how did they do? First and foremost, let me say visually, as always, it was pretty decent. The visuals were pretty good to me. Everything that was going on visually, it felt like Star Wars. That's just how I feel about it. Feels like Star Wars. Um, the fight scene was, like I said, spoilers. The fight scene between Saul, Saul and Smilo Ren, Kwamir, whatever, whatever he was, whatever he's called now, Sith, not Sith guy. I don't know. I love the fight scene. I think it was mm, mm, high, high, mid tier, high tier. It's up there in the in the fight scenes as far as the Star Wars universe goes as a whole. It was a good fight scene. Uh, had his little slow mo Matrix moments in there. Overall, it was good. Um, I'm very satisfied with that. Actually, in this series as a whole, it's had a slow start, but um, you know that episode five and the fight scenes there in the forest. I think that this show will have some of the most reused montage added in. Like these scenes, these fight scenes from this show, The Acolyte, are going to be used to promote Star Wars to people, I think, for a long time, because these are some top tier lightsaber battles. That's what I think, in my opinion. You're, it's going to be hard to find a Star Wars montage of fight scenes without some scenes from The Acolyte being thrown in there. That's that's how I feel about it. I think the scenes are good. Anyway, back to the episode. So story uh story wise what do i think major spoiler here was that darth uh plagueis in there like in the cave peeking up was that a teaser it i only seen it one time so i'm just giving my early quick review um people you can correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's who it might have been he looked like a money look it looked like him if they did that, I want to know what you guys' reaction. Do you think this was a bad place to, to stick him into live action? Do you think it was a good tease to try to get this show another season or a spinoff? What do you think? Do you think it just wasn't him and they just did that just to just to just mess with us, to troll us? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, he's creeping around there on the planet. It makes so much sense. I think if you guys are in the Star Wars, you'll see, you know, with him in the creating of life and things why he would be on that planet um brandock so anyway going off on a tangent i'm still kind of riled up from the episode so the fights were good the story did the story satisfy me okay what they did with the twins being not twins being the same for that it was a little it was a little sketchy to me I was already just, you know, I was already sold on their twins and created and thing, whatever. They kind of added more layers onto it by saying, oh, you're exactly the same. You're just one person split. Ah, whatever. The whole switching and this one being the good one, this one being the bad one. That to me, uh, I'm here for it. it. It was cool. It was a cool take. I guess for those of us who didn't see that coming, it would have been a surprise. I kind of suspected it. But overall, it was good. Did they wrap up the not knowing about the Sith thing for thousands of years and all the big issue over that little line? Um, it was funny because I feel like they kind of tied it up. But then at the last two scenes, which we'll talk about the very last scene, the last two scenes where uh, Ventress is talking about... Um, talking to the, the politicians about what happened and making the cover up. It's like, okay, so y'all did know he existed when y'all could have wrapped it up and made it like, Hey, you didn't know you could have just left that part out where she's like, I know who this is. He's alive. So it's like, you kind of know. So it's like, now it's a whole big cover up thing that the Jedi have been doing this whole time. Uh, I guess I it's one direction to go. Would I have went that direction? I kind of would have liked it to been, 
that they were actually hidden and no one knew. But I guess it plays on to allow for more stories to go on along the way. And then the final scene, the big shocker, we get, spoilers, 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 Master Yoda at the end. She goes to tell Yoda everything that's going on. I believe that's what she's going to do, which means he also knows. So it kind of makes the actions of the later movies seem a little like, hmm. So you know this, they bring Anakin to you, you say don't train the boy, all this thing goes on with Qui-Gon, Yoda, you know what's going on, why? Like, whose side are you on here, buddy? Like, whose side are you on? So I kind of feel like they, they could have made us happy with the cover-up thing or not knowing or everyone being dead, but then they were just like, hey, screw that, we're going to say people knew anyway. Whatever, Keanu Mooney didn't know. I don't know, he's alive, he's not alive, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so story-wise for me, well, let's just start giving it numbers because we don't have to go through the list. I want to give my take on the whole season. Um, action wise, I'm I'm going to put it up there. Seven, eight. I like the action. Um, story wise, the wrap up for me, the Easter eggs, everything that happened. It wasn't bad. Story wise, I'm going to give this episode in particular maybe a seven and a half or eight because it did wrap up mostly everything for me. I'm going to go down to seven and still five, seven, because one thing did bother me was the erasing the mind thing. I think that's such a cheesy gimmick. I know it happens. And, and for some things and some stories, it, it works well. It makes sense. But I just think here is maybe I can erase her mind and forget. I just think that was like a, 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 a cop out, like could have just, you know, killed her off or did any other thing. I, I think that was a half ass cop out. So I'm not a big fan of that personally. That's just me. So that's why I'm going to give it a flat seven for the wrap up. But everything else in the story kind of wrapped up well for me. So we got the action. We got the story. The acting was on par with everything else. We got a lot of uh, Soul and Kwamir, which turned out to be some of my favorites that made it on to this part because Jackie and Yord are been gone. So I think acting wise, it was pretty good. Um, I was glad to see the, uh, I don't know the guy's, the actor's name, but he played uh, Martian Manhunter in the, in the Arrowverse, and it was cool to see him there kind of doing his thing. So yeah, acting-wise, I think it was, uh, it was okay. Another se seven, I would say overall, this episode gets a six and a half, seven to me. And I, I see they're fishing for another season. I don't know how that's going to play out. I kind of feel like if they do another season, they're going to have to use a whole new cast. So maybe a spinoff would be more in order, like leave these characters where they are, have them pop in in a spinoff. You know who the spinoff has to focus on. Obviously, we want to see what's going on there with uh, Plagueis. But um, yeah, so six and a half, seven. Series wise, series wise, now that we have the Acolyte, all the outrage is out. All the, the love it's the hate it's and everyone in between has got to voice their opinion and see their whole story. Let it play out. Oh, this is trash. We got everything now. So we're going to form a full opinion. And I must say, uh, as a whole, I enjoyed the series. As a Star Wars series from the things that they've been putting out since Mando, it, it is up there. It's up there. It's, it's mid tier, mid to high tier for me, actually, as a show, because I'm looking at what I take away from it. We got to see some some uh, cool things with the armor. We got to see some cool uh, things with, um, I guess, the witches are interesting things, I would say there. We got to see some other cool things with the Jedi. Uh, we got maybe Plagueis, you know. So we got some cool fight scenes. We got some real cool fight scenes. So overall, the takeaway from it, I think we I got a little bit from it. Some things that'll last for me more memorable than even like the rise of skywalker yeah kind of i kind of got a few memorable moments out of this so with that the story being uh, mid-tier the acting up and down i would say this series i'm gonna give it a six and a half maybe a seven overall for me Six and a half is more accurate. It's just a little desolate sometimes. Music and everything was good like that. As a whole, as a series, six and a half. And I give it that because, they're, like I said, the fight scenes gave me some memorable things. We got to see some cool things with the, with the armor. We got to see a cool moment, some Jedi things. There's some cool Easter eggs in there. I feel like 
this show, elements of this show will be taken forward and used and remembered in a good way later on, kind of like the original trilogy. When it first came out, there was so many things that was just like, oh gosh, this is no, this is no good. And then to this day, people are still like, ha, ah, Jar Jar Binks, ah, ah. it's like the worst thing that ever happened. And it's like, I don't know, turned into like this mainstay in Star Wars now. Like he's semi cool at this point, which is just strange. But so I wanted to say that because some of the other Star Wars shows, such as let's just say, we know I don't, I didn't particularly love Andor. Some people did. I get it. I get what they see in it. That's just not my thing. There's not many things I take from Andor and say, man, this is a great moment. I love this moment. I, I want to see that moment again. Uh, same thing with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan had one or two moments here, and I was like, oh, these are great. I would like to see those again. But this show, the fight scenes, I definitely would. I would watch these fight scenes as many times as I could. They're great. Great Star Wars fight scenes, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that goes there, set story, music, acting, you know, the whole show six and a half, which is not bad. It's above average. And, um, would I ever watch the whole series again as a whole? Possibly. That's a possibly some of the episodes, definitely the whole series, possibly some of them dragged the, the covenant episode. I, I know was there for story purposes and then having to revisit it again from another angle was just kind of like, can we just get to the point here? But I guess you got to deal with those things in between. So, yeah, that's my take. Um, do I think they're going to get another season? I have no idea. Do I think it needs another season? Like I said, I don't think it needs another season of The Acolyte. I think this story is just self-contained and good. I think the characters of uh, May, Osha, Kwamir should cameo or appear in something else, but I think it should be something else. I don't think we need to follow them anymore i would be fine with that especially since the main cast saul your jackie and all of them are all dead i don't think we need more of the acolyte i feel like that was the acolyte we need something else and they can just cameo in there but um yeah that's my take on it man i know everyone has all types of opinions tell me about it um i pretty much stayed the same throughout the show like as far as likability, the the way I liked it from the first episode to the last was pretty much the same. Didn't really go up that much, didn't really go down that much. Fluctuated here and there, but I still feel the same. Uh, let me know if you liked it more and then it got worse for you or if it was horrible for you or got better or you always hated it or you always liked it. Yeah, sound off in the comments, man. I know a lot of people got a lot to say. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think is coming? And Plagueis, do you think that was him? Do you think they're going to do that? Do you want them to take this on in a series i prefer a movie but i don't i don't think we're gonna get the movie we need or the movie we want sadly but hey we can hope right uh yeah that's it that's all i gotta say about that solid six and a half for me uh yeah solid six and a half and like the action tell me what y'all think it's just there and i'm out